Hey, the morning brew for Friday, everybody. I'm Larry Aaron's. Amber Hendren is here. She wore her leather pants, yes. especially for our upcoming right. guest, Eric McFadden. That's right. <laughs> right. Rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> Eric will be here to play for you in just a moment. But uh, first, let's talk to Howie Keibel. Howie is the community manager for Yelp, a frequent, lovable guest frequent on our show. Frequent friends. Frequent just fan of what you guys do. Oh, hey, thank we're you. We're a fan uh, of yours you too, Senor Howie. Uh, you're, you're on a lot of shows, but you like this one This the one's best, your favorite. You? Go ahead and admit it. <laughs> by far? <laughs> by far. You guys oh, yeah. I just feel say. like I'm coming back to a family here every yeah. time. Yeah. Good. No, I do. You, and everyone in the studio, uh, I mean, this is... This is a second home to me, so thank you. Well, good. We're happy um, to have you. And I and I love uh, during during the breaks finding out little nuggets of information about you guys. And so, L Larry, you being from Southern California, I am. Yeah. Um, but we also have a UNM graduate here, which yes. I was a UNM graduate, yeah. and that's what this segment's about: is when graduate graduation weekend. Oh yeah, which is this weekend for UNM and for a lot of colleges all over the state. Terrific. Cool. So what happens when you're in when when your uh, your relatives and your friends from out of town come in to Albuquerque? Where do you take them? Mm -hmm. Oh, when you're not spending your student loan money. Uh -huh. That's the big part. Right. You're getting other people to buy dinner. Yeah, no, no, no. Right. When you're in college, you don't pay for anything <laughs> when the folks come into town. <laughs> right? No, no, no. Right. No, no. That's not the way it's done. No, I'm thinking, Amber, that you already had, uh, you, most of your family is from here then? Or? I have a lot of folks here and down in El Paso and uh, still in Mexico. Okay. Yeah. Well, where would you, where, where do you take them? Uh, we always go to the tram first because it just blows their mind. Absolutely. Uh, we always try to find them some really great places to eat. And Old Town, uh, the Biopark, the Botanical Gardens is really, really beautiful. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. A lot of those places. There's are... so much going on all the time that there's not enough time for them. Sure. But we have to start. I always want to take them on the tram because it just, it's like. That's definitely. Whoa. Yep. That's definitely on my list. A high finance would be yeah. the yeah. restaurant on the list for that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you're not put, you're not paying the bills, so mm -hmm. let the parents or whoever. Yeah. Look yeah, how beautiful. There, there's a view from that it's restaurant. It's spectacular. It is. It's over 10,000 feet. Our um, city is just beautiful, you it know, is. and our skies are endless. It I had been up the tram in, in a few months. They, they took down the tram house where you go up. They're, they're rebuilding it. Oh, good. Yeah, so I don't know where they're at on that construction, but Interesting. you can still get to the restaurant and everything. It good. needed a little makeover. Yeah, it was time. It did. Yeah. It, it really was time. <laughs> it was time. So they knocked it down, and I think they're re well along in the project. So. That's very cool. Yeah. So um, what else ideas, other ideas uh, do you have well, for Well, how about the folks? North Valley? The, the Let's North go Valley, there. where do you go? Um, Los I've Poblanos? Um, Los Poblanos. Casa uh, Rondeña. Casa Rodin, oh, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. yes. Well, absolutely. I was there last Saturday. So You're, romantic. It's yeah. such a great place. It is. Taking the family, um, I, I had a couple of other ideas. Farm and table. Farm and yeah. table, um, yeah. And El Pinto. I mean, it's the, it's the go-to, right? That's where we always go with Josh and Whitney. And that's yeah. where they have their so this is Right. Beautiful. Yeah, and there's farm and table right there. Uh-huh. Um, they have a beautiful patio also. Yes, they, they do. do. Gorgeous patio. Great amazing food. food. Um, but Great El Pinto chef. as well is just this sprawling patio that goes on forever, right? Sure. Um, you have a big family, really awesome place to go experience the North yeah, Valley. It is. Um, and then Old Town, where do you go? Oh, we always just walk around in Old Town and we love um, just the museums and the shops and, yeah. you know, there's just so many little haunts in and out of Old Town. The church, mm -hmm. we always go to the church, the mm -hmm. churches. And there's, there's a little French restaurant in there. Uh, yeah, Le like Clet Michel. Yes, yes. That's, that's it. Which is, wow. Oh, that's, that's very good. Top, Heavenly. Top ten of my all-time favorites in the city. Yes. Yeah. Um, I got goosebumps just thinking about it. Right? <laughs> yeah, no, it's a great yeah. place. It's actually a really romantic place, too. It's a great place great to take crepes, a date. Yeah, feet. that's where right. I was uh, proposed yeah. to for my, uh, for ah. my sweetheart. Whoa. Like what a nice awesome. wine list. Nice yeah. move. Nice yeah. move, sweetheart. Really cool. <laughs> um, but uh, uh, for a family, I was thinking, I really think of seasons. Mm -hmm. sure. uh, they have great downstairs dining, but upstairs there's, there's that great patio. You can still get incredible food. There's, mm -hmm. there's an example of a, yeah. know, a plate that one of our Yelpers actually took a picture of. Um, and, and yeah, just a wonderful place right there near Old Town to go uh, celebrate your graduation. Um, and the last place I was going to talk about is actually the Pueblo Cultural Center. Oh, yeah. yeah. And the Harvest Cafe. Sure. 
So this this Friday they have uh, salsa, and um, on Saturday they have Latin folk fusion and world mm -hmm. music. But you can go there, you can get this cultural experience, and then um, you know you can you can spend the after the evening watching the uh, the Sandia Mountains turn sandia, mm -hmm. and you can uh, you can really enjoy some good music. So um, just another way. Uh, how many other but what other places, what other cities in the country can you have? Or are you going to find an Indian Pueblo cultural center? Yes. Yeah, exactly. Um, so it's a great and way. And they to have Indian bread there that they that the they sell. Great. The and dancing the dancing that the, they have. Oh, yes. It's great. Yeah. And, and then you have the National Hispanic Cultural Center too, mm -hmm. just a mm -hmm. few miles away. Right. I mean, two really unique things about this city. Absolutely. Um, that you're just not yeah, people from out of town are really going to engage with. So. Wow. Give them a little flavor. Give them something that they don't get anywhere else. Right. And make them want to come back. Yeah. So to you UNM graduates out there, uh, congratulations. Yeah. And uh, have a great time in our city this weekend. Um, visit Yelp.com slash Albuquerque for all of the businesses that I just talked about. You can read reviews. You can find out how to get there. You can call, get, uh, yeah, get directions, anything. And safe rides. Yes. Safe ride, yeah. everybody. Uber and Lyft mm -hmm. are both in Albuquerque. Yeah, nice. and they're great. You yeah, know, I think I'm going to start that. taking Lyft to work in the morning. Do you think they'll come pick me up? Not sure. a bad idea. At 6.15? Sure. Then I can do my makeup in the car. <laughs> sure. Rolling like a diva. <laughs> Good to see you, Howie. Good to see you. Great segment. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, congrats to the class of 2014. Yes. yes. Congratulations, Back in a moment, everybody. Eric McFadden on stage here at the Morning Brew next. Woohoo.